Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with Aurora Life on Mars by David Bowie. And I believe she recorded this about a month after his passing in early 2016. And uh, this was also a request by Dave. Thank you so much for this request and donation. Looking forward to it. I reacted to the original song by David Bowie just before this because I was familiar with the melody and stuff but i had no clue about the lyrics so i'm glad i did it uh unfortunately it got blocked on youtube so i put it on patreon for now and now we're gonna check out this version let's go what is this word on the screen i don't want to butcher it but i don't know trick de contoret i don't know man i just love language any language and i always Love to try and take a stab at it. And um, yeah, I usually screw it up. Apologies. Thank you for being here, everybody. It's a god of a small affair To the girl with the mousy hair But her mommy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go But her friend is nowhere to be seen Now she walks through a sun To the seed with the clearest view And she's hooked to the silver screen But the film is a saddening bore Cause she's seen it ten times or more She could spit in the eye I don't even have words for that. That was amazing. That first part. And then that, you know, almost the conclusion of coming to that question of, uh, is there life on Mars? That was so well executed. She gave it, she odorified it for sure. And the notes that she is able to produce are so beautiful. They're so pure, clear, crystal clear. It is uh, truly a joy to listen to her sing. And as well, put herself into this song, you know, not only in terms of vocals, but just in terms of who she is and um, putting her personality in it. Because uh, this song, you know, and I hadn't realized it before I reacted to the original version, because I was familiar with the melody and stuff, but not the words. And you could replace that first line, the girl with the mousy hair with the boy, and it was almost about me so that 
is how personal that first part feels to me and asking that question of is there life on mars is there meaning you know there's meaning there's a question of hope and there's of course escapism like being stuck to the silver screen and um you come across people in this music industry who have a similar way of thinking in you know bowie aurora and you know it speaks to you because that's what you're looking for as a human being and you can't always find it in real life or maybe it's tough to talk about and then that's why we gravitate towards artists like that because they verbalize what we experience and um yeah like these kindred spirits coming together right even after death um singing a song in tribute but also just because you relate to it in some way uh that's the beauty that comes through not only because of her beautiful singing but also that element is there right uh that's an authenticity you can't fake that's hence the word authenticity of course awesome yeah that was amazing i'm gonna run that back because i need to hear that part again
That was beautiful. And and yeah, just um the way um like I said, like she put her own personality in it, you know, not only her amazing vocals, but just herself, right? And um you can hear that she relates to this song. Maybe I'm imagining it. Uh, but that's what I feel. And that is a beautiful thing. Uh, there's, uh, there's not always a lot of, um, songs or covers that touch you in a way or live performances, uh, that you think about it, you know, afterwards, or you keep thinking about it. And sometimes it does happen, you know, and, uh, this is definitely one of those beautiful um great song and an amazing rendition of it um yeah thank you for introducing me to it thank you uh for spending some time with me hope to see you in the next one goodbye